Okay, so today to experiment with osmosis, we are going to use some regular raisins. So if you have some raisins, you could try this at home as well. So what I'm gonna do is I've got six raisins here, just regular sun-made raisins. And as you know, raisins are um, made from grapes, right? Grapes, when they dry up, they lose their water, they become raisins. So we're gonna see what will happen if we soak the raisins in water um, for 24 hours, um, so we're gonna weigh them because we wanna get how much they weigh now. So I'm gonna put the six raisins onto the scale here. So we're gonna record the weight. Oh, you can't see it on the video very well. I don't know why. They weigh 2.3 grams hmm. yeah it's not letting me record that weight but it's 2.3 grams um so that's going to be our starting mass and then all we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to put them into the water and like i said we're going to leave them here for 24 hours and then when we come back we're going to take the raisins out of the water and we're going to put them back on the scale to see if their mass has increased so what we're trying to see is if the water is gonna go into the raisin. Or if it's a um, membrane, it's, it's skin, right? On the outside is gonna keep that water out of it. So we're gonna kinda of, uh, see this like a cell. The raisin is representing a cell with um, a membrane. And we're gonna see if the water will go into the cell membrane. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and take a look back now at our raisins from yesterday. So they are still in this cup of water. And you can tell even just by looking at them right now, they look much bigger than they did yesterday. Yesterday, remember, they looked like the raisins uh, just all shriveled up. So they looked kind of like that. And now today in the water, you can see that they're all puffed up. So let's go ahead and take them out. And I'm just gonna put them here on this paper towel uh, so that the outside of the raisin can get dried off. So just by looking at them, we can definitely tell, I'm gonna dry them off a little bit, definitely tell that they are much puffier much fatter uh, they feel kind of squishy now they have water inside of the raisins so now that we've dried off the outside we're going to go ahead and weigh them again because remember yesterday we did weigh them and we want to see if their mass has increased now that they've been sitting in the water so i'm going to put them over onto the scale oops there we go all right, and then I hate that you guys can't see the scale on the video, but it does now read 5.2. Uh, so they have increased in mass. So they are now 5.2 grams. So what has happened here is when I put the raisins into the water yesterday, um, water always moves from higher concentration into lower concentrated areas. So in our raisin, there was not very much water inside of the raisin, right? No water almost. And so the water moved from outside of the raisin into the raisin. So the water could pass through the, um, the skin of the raisin. Um, it works kind of like your cell membrane. So water will move into areas of lower concentration. So since there was less water inside the raisin, more water outside of the raisin, water moved from outside the raisin inside of the raisin. And that is what caused the raisins to kind of blow up like they did and fill up with the water. So this is a fun little experiment. You can try it for yourself at home. Um, try it out, see if you can get osmosis happening at your house.